Hey guys, it's my master for here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset techniques to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about habits and how you can use habits to help you get in shape permanently and naturally. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually define the word habit. So, I've got my iPad here, and the definition of habit is a habit is a routine of behavior that is repeated regularly and tends to occur unconsciously. I'm just gonna pop that down there a second. So, let's have a look at the uh, benefits of habits. Well, basically, habits are um, neutral in themselves. It's really what the habit then allows you to do through that. So, some people have um, the habit of smoking cigarettes. Other people have the habit of reading you know, educational books. They're both habits, but Either of those habits will produce an outcome. So the smoking of a cigarette over time can produce, say, lung cancer, right? Uh, so we would maybe in society deem that as a negative habit. Now, on the other hand, you might have somebody who reads educational books like personal development or whatever. And over time, that is going to allow the individual to become more educated, more productive and whatever it might be. And those are maybe classed, uh, would be classed as, say, a positive habit. So, um, habits are in themselves neutral. It's just what we decide, what habit we decide to create. So, our mind is like a habit generating machine. Everything we do over time will eventually become a habit anyway. So, the question to you guys is what habits are you forming? And also, what habits do you currently have that are not serving you in your life? Maybe you've got a habit of not going to the gym, maybe you've got a habit of eating uh, junk food every evening. Okay, so what you want to do then is you want to replace that negative habit with a positive habit. So you might say to yourself, uh, okay, so say for example you're eating junk food every evening, you might want to then start buying healthy food and eating healthy food every single evening until eventually that becomes the new habit. So instead of putting weight on now, you are potentially dropping the body fat, you're losing weight and you're getting healthier in the process. Okay, now um, when it comes to how long it takes for a habit to develop, well, there's, there's various research on there on this uh, particular topic. Some people say it's 21 days. There's research to show that it's anything from 14 to maybe 64 days, depending on the complexity of the habit you're trying to develop. So if you're just trying to create the habit of eating, you know, a, a vitamin C pill in the morning, that's nowhere near as complex as the habit of, say, every day writing a blog post and making sure that you're sending that out to your social media and making sure you've, you've researched it and all this other stuff. So there's, there's many different moving parts compared to just popping a vitamin C pill every day, right? So depending on the complexity of the habit, it's going to take more time um, if it's more complex compared to less time if it's less complex. Okay, so uh, you know you now know what a habit is and why it's important to you and you also know how to create it. So really, it's down to you now to decide what habits are you going to create. Now, one thing I would say is figure out, first of all, what is the outcome you're trying to get to, okay? If you want to get to the outcome of losing, say, body fat and you want to get a six-pack, then you may want to create the habit of going for a run every day or create the habit of... Um, you know, eating a certain types of food or, or create the habit of being in a calorie deficit. Now, those habits would be classed as positive habits because they lead to the outcome that you really decided you want, right? However, that same habit of going for a run every day may not be the best habit to develop if you're trying to put on size and you want to get, you know, you want to put on uh, lean lean muscle or whatever and you want to you bulk up, essentially do what's called a lean bulk where you might want to, actually cut out the cardio for a time being or really cut it down so um, habits in themselves like I said they're neutral they all that really comes down to is basically what are the habits being used for and are those habits going to take you in the direction of your goals so that's something you need to figure out based on whatever activity or whatever outcome you're trying to create and then decide what habits do I need to build to support me to move me in the direction of that goal Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more mindset techniques, click the link below, go over to my website and get access to my seven mindset keys, which will show you how to set your goals, how to get motivated, and how to take massive action in the direction of your goals. My name is Omar Mastercard, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.